Hello and welcome! In this video we will discover 15 signs a married woman likes you and wants to sleep with you. You have this feeling that a married friend or co-worker of yours is really into you. You can't actually be certain, but it feels like she's, you know, dropping hints everywhere. And it's because she's married that you don't want to go further with your assumptions. What if you're misreading the situation completely? What could you possibly do if your suspicion is true? Do you take a step? What step should you take? All this confusion can create a, such a tricky situation. If you are facing something like this right now, first, being certain whether she even likes you or not can help. <laughs> Once you are sure of her feelings, you can think about what you want to do about it. Hey, just before we dive into these 15 signs a married woman likes you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download your free book to successfully seduce any girl by clicking on the link in the description below. Number 1. Overt Physical Contact She finds all kinds of reasons to touch you. Sometimes it's a long hug, or sometimes it's a prolonged touch to the forearm. Sometimes she will be passing by you and her hands will automatically end up on your shoulder for a brief second. Now, just because someone's touchy wouldn't necessarily mean they are attracted to you. It could be that her love language is touch in and of itself. She touches pretty much everyone around her. There's nothing exclusive about it. Every time she wants to emphasize any of her emotions, she uses touch to get the point across. There's also a good chance she just likes touching people. She thinks touching others is a normal thing and a way of bonding so that one's friendship deepens. It's only when all the other signs mix with the touch sign that you can be certain. She seems to have this thing for touching you over other people. She initiates contact more often. Touch itself can never be the absolute sign of romantic interest. When that touch is more targeted, as in she only knows you or does so to you over others, well that's when you know. Number 2. Finding reasons to be close to you She might simply find your company comforting. Maybe you are really good at giving advice and she likes hearing it. She could be facing some problems in her personal life and somehow she has assigned you as her problem solver. Maybe the source of all her weird behavior can be attributed to her needing advice from you. But it's different if she's always too close. She is somehow always where you happen to be. If you are around her, she can't let you go about your day without attracting your attention in some way. If that is the case, then the signs are too clear. Number 3. Visible Jealousy Having a ring on her finger isn't going to stop her from being jealous of others. Do you see her getting visibly irritated when you are talking to another woman? It could also be the opposite. She might be a little too chill about it, almost sending you to talk to other women to see how you react. If you are just a friend from her perspective, you would see no sign of hesitation in her. However, if she's openly hostile towards other women you talk to, then that's a big, big sign. If your attempt at hooking up with other people is somehow always getting spoiled by this woman, then you know the reason. Number 4. Obvious staring Is this not one of those universal signs? Married, unmarried, whatever, a woman who likes you is quite likely to stare at you. And the moment you catch her staring, her eyes will drift away from you immediately. Now if this happens every now and then, it could be simple coincidence. Maybe she was just looking around the room or thinking about something and her eyes landed on you. If this happens regularly, then it points more towards a preference in staring at you. If your eyes meet hers and she refuses to look away, then she might be the type who was quite confident with her attraction. She likes looking at you and she isn't shy about letting you know that, even if she is married. Number 5. She wants to know you. She does this thing where she shows a massive amount of interest in your personal life. Of course, a good friend would like hearing about what's going on with you anyway. However, her interest seems a little too focused on your love life. Maybe you mentioned going on a date the other day. It will have her attention. She will ask what happened to the date or if you're going to see this other person again. The signs are neon colored at this point. Not only does she want to know about you, but she's also making sure you don't have other women in your life that she has to compete with. Number 6. Body Language 
There's a change in her body language every time she sees you walk in. She might straighten up a little, or is she suddenly checking her appearance? You see her fixing her hair in quick motions and readjusting her clothes. This isn't the most obvious thing to observe. You need to first see how she acts when she isn't aware you are looking versus when you are looking at her. You should also pay attention to her response to your body language. If she is into you, she's probably following all your moves. That means she's going to start mirroring you at some point while talking to you. Number 7. <laughs> You're so funny! You're suddenly the funniest guy in existence. If your married friend is suddenly laughing at the stupidest remarks, and it's not only because she doesn't want an awkward silence to fall after you drop a joke, then you know something's up. If she likes you, it doesn't matter if she's married or not. All your acts will be endearing to her, especially when she is simply crushing on you and you're cool to her. Her laughter could both be a result of her trying not to offend you or because she feels too nervous around you. Number 8. Flirting As far as signs go, if someone is flirting with you, they obviously have to like you quite a bit. Do all your conversations take this flirty turn? Maybe you guys were talking about something boring and she still managed to make the conversation turn to a flirty bit to the point you are left wondering if she is serious or if she is just joking around. She could also be this flirty person, but if it is more towards you than other people, that's when you know something is going on here. A lot of people are flirty by nature. However, when that flirty side is directed towards one person, then that's less casual flirting and more actual attempt. Number 9. General Teasing if you are having flirty conversations with each other, then she probably makes it a point to tease you quite a bit as well. If you are in that stage where she likes you but doesn't know if she wants to take the risk, especially because she's married, she is probably revoking some of that tension by teasing you. Banter is fun. Making fun of you is fun, and it ensures your attention is focused on her. Her teasing is a bit relentless, but there's nothing mean there. Teasing could be an excellent way of maintaining a line. This way, she can stop herself from getting too flirty. It is also hard to associate her teasing with something more serious. Number 10. Some compliments. If the harmless but slightly constant teasing is not enough, she throws in some compliments every now and then. Even while she is teasing you or flirting with you, there are compliments sprinkled in her opinion of you. No wonder you are still confused about whether this person likes you, and that's exactly what she wants. She wants to maintain a balance, so you can't really call her out for being attracted to you. You are just left wondering if she is actually into you until she decides whether she wants to make a move herself. 11. Her marriage seems unimportant. If you are around and you see her trying to act like her marriage is not that important, well, those are some obvious signs. She either tries to change the subject, or when she talks about her husband, makes the relationship as uninteresting as possible. Either she is just facing some serious issues with her husband, or she doesn't want you to think they are good together. It could also be just both. Maybe her relationship is not that great, and that's exactly what has led her attraction towards you. Whatever the reason, if she likes you, she wouldn't want you to pay much attention to her marriage. In front of you, she wants to be available. And talking about her husband and the constant reminder that she is married is not exactly supposed to help with that. Number 12. She talks too much about her marriage. Yes, even the opposite could be true. Instead of turning your attention from her husband, she makes it a point to talk about him a lot. There could be certain reasons for this. If she is trying to make you jealous, she will talk about how awesome her husband is and all the romantic things he does. If she is not happy in her marriage, then she will talk about all the problems she faces with her husband, as if she wants you to save her from the situation. Number 13. Joking about a relationship Sometimes, especially when she is talking about her husband, you find her joking about a relationship between you two. She suddenly wants to discuss what life would be like if you two were together instead of her husband and her. She will pose a scenario to see if it interests you. She could also be joking about a relationship between you two to make a clear signal towards you. She wants you to know that she is interested and wants you to make the move. In fact, 
if she talks about a hypothetical situation where you two are in a relationship, then she likes you for certain. No matter how good of a friend she is, a married woman won't joke about a relationship with you if she's not interested in you. Number 14. Secret Conversations For some reason, the conversations between you feel like a secret from others. Except when you are with your friend's circle, or if you are co-workers in an office, if the conversations with you feel secretive, then something's up. It is as if she is trying to hide you away from her husband. Maybe she doesn't text you with her husband around, or uh, she makes it a point to not pick up your calls around her husband. Basically, if there aren't any feelings present, she would never feel the need to hide any conversation between you two. Her tone. Whenever you two are alone, you notice a difference in the way she talks to you. Maybe her voice takes on a more sensual tone. Or maybe she gets this timidity in the way she speaks. Either it is deliberate, or she has no control over her tone around you. If she feels nervous around you, she will become quiet. She will only focus on what you are saying. If she feels confident about her attraction, her voice will become more husky. Final Thoughts Ultimately, the biggest hint you could have when the other person is into you is how she acts around her husband in relation to you. Hiding you from her husband certainly gives her interests away. If all the other signs match, then you will know for certain. Then, the decision is on you. Do you want to do something about this attraction? Or do you want to remove yourself from this situation? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You are also free to receive the new book, 9 Keys to Seduce Any Girl, by clicking on the link in the description below.